Absolutely. You talk about it. We've mentioned it. It was a call, a crease violation that so many in the lacrosse world said was obvious, but it just didn't go the way of Penn State, went the way of Duke, and now after all of that, Penn State, they're over it. They're hungry. They want to get it back, and that's what they're going to go for, and we are about underway as Chase Mullins takes the face-off circle, or dot, that is, for Penn State against Johnny Hartzell for Colgate. We are underway. The lacrosse season has started. Mullins wins it for Penn State, and he is pushing it up to Grant Haas. Haas to Matt Trainer. Trainer working around a couple of Colgate defenders on the near side. Goes out to Costin. And back to Trainer. Trainer pushes in towards the crease. Now at X. Looking for a pass to Kyle Lehman. Lehman can't get the shot. Lots of contact. Colgate's going to pick up the ground ball and now look to push things the other way. Strong defense there from Colgate there. Matt Trainer switching to attack this season, kind of filling the role of his brother in Jack Trainer this season, trying to add a little bit more spark next to TJ Malone and now the new freshman Kyle Lehman. But good job by Colgate there, not letting really any clear lane for Matt Trainer. Michael Minikis had it, tossed it back. Out to Rory Connor. Those two provided lots of the offense last year. And now it's Connor trying to wrap around. Great defense, though from Kevin Parnum. Push, big save by Jack Frasione. It was Hunter Drew in on the shot, and Frasione answers the call as he did so many times a season ago. Yeah, Justin, you just alluded to it. Frasione has done that all last season for Penn State. Had the fourth most saves in a single season for any Nittany line, Nittany line goaltender, and he's standing up strong there early. Good defense, though, by Kevin Parnum on Rory Connor. That's going to be a matchup to watch out for. Lots of matchups in this one, and it's Costin streaking down the field. He gets Penn State on the board first. It's Matt Costin, the graduate student, and Penn State's offense starts off strong here in 2024. Penn State doing a great job there on the transition, able to slow things down and get Matt Costin sprinting out of the box, coming straight off the bench, looking for a clear lane down to the goal. It was a beautiful feed by guess who, yes, TJ Malone getting that one quickly out of his hands and a beautiful bounce shot there for Matt Costa to get the first goal for the Nittany Lions this season. Malone is a first assist and is now tied fifth all time at Penn State in points in a career. He had the fourth most assist last year in single season history for a Nittany Lion. And he's off to a hot start. Now Kyle Lehman as Penn State won another faceoff, and Lehman at X gives it to Trainer. Mercer up top. Talking about Kyle Lehman, one of the most talented freshmen in the country, and he slots in in his first collegiate game in the starting lineup as Brent Fleck pushes. Gives it off to Lehman. He struggles with it, but picks it up before giving it to Mercer. Alone in Mercer. Now Mercer. Tight defense from Donnie Tedesco. Now Trainer from straight up, gets tripped down, passes it off. Huge save by Matt McCone. But as the clear fails, Trainer picks it up for Penn State. Good job by Penn State, not panicking there. It was a little bit of a rush shot there by, uh, I believe it was Luke Wallstrom, the uh, redshirt sophomore from Pennsylvania. Good job by him and looking like a Head coach Jeff Tambrody wants to see all of his talent right now, but this is where Penn State is dangerous. You're going to see TJ Malone a lot at that top Big Ten logo. He loves to bump out higher to get that left-handed shot, wind it up. Lehman sits back at X, looking for a route around. Now it's back up top to Wallstrom, to Mercer. Back to Wallstrom. Talk about Lacombe who made that save. Fourth most saves in the nation, second in the conference. That's the Patriot League for Colgate a season ago. It's a good goalie matchup here today, too. The best in the nation as Lehman turns it over. Lacombe scoops up the ground ball, and he's going to push out, looking to generate something. Renane there on the defense of Lehman. Great job there, but again, Penn State getting possession. Battle for it at midfield, and flag's going to fly. And as Penn State scoops it up, we'll get the stoppage with 11-10 to go in the first. Yeah, it looks like Ryan O'Connor there, uh, the LSM for Penn State, took a cross check 
right to the mouth. It looks like Penn State's gonna go man up for a solid minute here. Big opportunity for Penn State again. And you gotta give these Nittany Lions credit. That uh, transition defense for them is do making sure Colgate does not have any easy opportunities to clear. Great uh, ride by the attackman. Colgate one for three and clears. Penn State on the man up last year. They converted 47.1 of the time. That's 24 of 51, nearly a 500 clip, which is the success rate you're gonna want. Trainer with the ball to start. Costin to Long, and now down low, Wallstrom. Back to Long. Costin again. Trainer. Malone. His shot saved by Lacombe. Went down to a knee to get it. And Matt Lacombe with his second save. Big save there by Lacombe. But again, Colgate having a little bit of a trouble here. Finally able to get it fully cleared. But TJ Malone, great job there. Had Lacombe going the other way, but Lacombe was able to get his stick down. And that's a big time save and a big time moment for Colgate to kind of still be in this game. Menikis, just gonna try to ride out the 19 seconds left on the man advantage for Penn State. Menikis pushes towards. Don't expect him to take a shot as he tosses it off to Rory Connor. And three seconds left on the man advantage. Connor's gonna hold and he's gonna be back to even strength across. Connor now gonna push. But Parnum makes him think about it twice. Ben Trumbull. Underhand toss this time to Connor. And up top to Rupenstein. Rupenstein to Turner. Turner turns around. Great pressure again by defense, by Penn State's defense, but Colgate able to get their first goal. Jack Turner, 14 goals a year ago, and he gets his first in 2024 to tie it up, working around some nifty defense of Penn State. And again, it all starts with the Colgate able to kill that man up advantage, but Will Costin, the defenseman of Penn State, got a little too aggressive there on the push. And Turner was able to recognize that, able to go short side on Frasione. Frasione probably wants that one back, but the quick shot kind of, I think, surprised Frasione a little bit. And Turner able to turn on Costin like that. Very impressively done. And State able to control it again off the faceoff. And you talked about it, Tim, that man up kill by Colgate is really what generated it, especially having possession as it ended. However, you're gonna have to look into this game Penn State still has not lost a face-off yet. And that's something that the Nittany Lions have struggled with years before, um, including last season, really having trouble, able to get it going on late with Chase Mullins. And it looks like Mullins is very comfortable right now, winning three for three. Wayman dished it to Trainer right out in front of the crease, but too much contact. Trainer couldn't hold on to it, and it's Colgate going the other way. It's Quinn Fitzsimmons, the junior from Atlanta, will toss it off. To Charlie Lohman. Lohman unevaded to the net. And now he's going to go down to X and Costin's going to meet him. 8.45 to go in the first quarter. As Colgate looks to set up something on offense. Bozita tossed it off. Turner, who just scored the goal, gives it off to Drew and Drew. Pushes in towards the crease, his shot, Colgate on top. Hunter Druin went straight on Jack, Jack Brassione, and he gets Colgate's second goal. Little bit of surprising right now for these Penn State Nittany Lions. They kind of look a little shocked right now. They looked like they were forcing a little bit too much on the offensive zone, and it's Brent McVicker here, the short stick defenseman, just gets beat cleanly by Hunter Druin the uh, sophomore, and he just goes straight to the cage. Nothing Brassion could do. Great aggressiveness by Colgate. Hunter Drew in his first of the season, now 10th of his career after having nine in his freshman campaign. Penn State will control after a call on the faceoff. But it seems like for both of the Colgate goals, almost generated by too much aggression on the check by Nittany Lion defenders. And it also comes with the Nittany Lions not being successful on their offensive zone. A little too sloppy for them right now. And you can't say they haven't had the possession time. Again, that was a face-off violation, so technically Mullins is four for four. Four for four is Costin. He's got the goal tonight, or this afternoon, pardon me, for Penn State. 
He'll have to retreat to Trainer before getting it back. Giving it off to Trainer on the near side. Trainer with a spin. Now two Colgate defenders. And he passes it lengthy, and now it's Lehman. First collegiate goal. Kyle Lehman off the feed from TJ Malone. And the number seven overall recruit in the nation proves why just a couple of minutes into his collegiate debut. Great job by Matt Trainer. Drew the double and then TJ Malone. Of course, he's going to get everybody coming to him with that pump fake. Drops it down low to Lehman, and Lehman just goes straight to the cage and is able to sneak that one through. Big time goal for him, and congrats on your first collegiate goal. And of course, TJ Malone now, the uh, number 10th assist leader in Penn State history and is now the certified number five points leader. And I mean, a couple accomplishments in one, one little possession for Penn State and they also tie up the game in the process. It's two to two now. As Lehman joins Costin as the two goal scorers, but Colgate, they did control off this face off for the first time today and looking to generate on offense Yet again, their last two times on this end of the field, Colgate has come through getting goals past Jack Brassione. Nickus lost his stick as he tried to pass it. Great hustle on that line by Fabro, but just couldn't keep it in, and Kevin Parnum's gonna be there for Penn State. Gotta give Alex Ross a ton of credit there defensively, coming down with the big pull and absolutely rocking the stick out. A little bit of a yard sale, if you will for the lacrosse fans out there. But what a play by Alex Ross. You knew he's gonna have to be one of these three Nittany Line defenders to step up this season, with Jack Posey still out. Lehman just picked up a ground ball that was lost by Mercer as he, a lot of contact shoved him out right in front of the Colgate, or right to the side of the Colgate team over on that far sideline. So Lehman making his presence felt early in his Nittany Line career. Guy that they think could have a career of a lot of goals, lots of assists, lots of impact is the easiest way to put it. The ball is free right next to McCombs' net. Colgate picked it up, it was Max Yates. And Matt Trainer again there. I've seen him do this a couple times this game already with him being in the new attack position. I think he's trying to get a little bit comfortable with it, but almost a little bit too comfortable. He's trying for these passes that I think he expects he can make right away, and he just has not been able to. There was Alex Ross yet again forcing a wayward pass from Manikis and Penn State able to get possession. So two straight goals for Colgate down on this side of the field and all of a sudden Alex Ross, reasons why they've turned it over their last two times down here. Well look, I mean we talked about it. It's day one, guys. Yeah, there's gonna be a couple sloppiness. There's gonna be a little bit of rustiness from both sides here. Um, but right now I think both teams are, are just feeling the energy and a great day out here. Fans are packing Panzer Stadium right now. It's a good day, and you're seeing both teams trying to maybe do a little bit too much right now. More into trainer. Now it's long with it at X. Talk about the fan affair as Malone gets it. Puxitani Phil predicted an early spring, and the weather's living up to that as Malone is living up to it with his third assist. Ethan Long gets on the board. And Penn State up three to two as the junior from Maryland gets his 24th career goal. Big goal by Ethan Long. Transition down low to X, as you did mention. And that's the big thing that Tam Roney loves to do, is he loves to transition his players. And of course, TJ Malone, he's gonna find anybody open on this Nittany Lions team. He has that ability. There's a reason he was Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year last season. Yes, it was mainly for his goal scoring. He's showing you guys, hey, look, I can pass the ball too. Ethan Long with a nice little quick stick right into the back of the net. And Tim, just because it's the way things are going, Malone, Three assists, now up to number nine all-time in assists for Penn State. Three points for TJ Malone, and Penn State, they're gonna generate a lot of offense through him this year. And look, I had the opportunity last season to speak with TJ Malone, and he's the type of guy, too, that he's gonna be missed, uh, uh, upset with himself that he missed that uh, goal opportunity for himself as well to keep his team up, but he's such a great team player, and he's proving it today. And Tim, you didn't just talk to him. You had a little bit of a catch with him. His trainer is working below X. I did have a nice little catch with him though. I, I asked him if I could make the team. Uh, he said he was gonna talk to Tambroni for me. I still have not received that call yet, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but 
Now, I have to ask you, this is a debate that comes up a lot more with baseball than I think lacrosse, but is it play catch or have a catch? Uh, I, I like to say have a catch. You know, you, you're having a nice time with, 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 uh, with the player there. You're having a good conversation, and uh, I'd say have a catch. As now Menis, Menicus, pardon me, made the catch, and then will retreat, still cradling that ball in his pocket. Let's see if Colgate here can get all their offensive pieces on the field here. They got Penn State where they want them. And again, it's all about the matchups. They got the short stick out there. Let's see if Colgate can pounce on it. Liam Connor, the big freshman acquisition. One of many, lots of freshmen on this team as now it's Rory Connor, brother of Liam. Two of them working together. And it's Liam with a shot, but Fresno gets his stick on it. And a nice job to keep it in, and Penn State will pick it up and start things the other way. That is a seriously underrated save there by Jack Fresion. He got it actually with his left ankle. A, that hurts. B, that's a huge save and a great positional save, but also give credit there to Will Costin there, sprinting, able to keep the ball in play, and he tossed it to his uh, Brett McVicker, his Nittany Lion teammate there. Big, big time save for Fraschion to keep the momentum on the Nittany Lion side. Under three to go in the first, Penn State leading three to two over Colgate, number four Penn State. I feel like we've gone without saying that. Lots of expectations for this Penn State team that made a push, was a goal call away from going to the national title game. Malone with it, and three points already. And he gets it to Lehman, turnaround shot, huge save, Lacombe. Acrobatic shot, acrobatic save. Justin, you talked about it. It's a goalie matchup today between both of these teams. Both of these goalies are some of the best in college lacrosse, and they're showing it right now with Lacombe making a big save on Lehman. Eldridge pushing, he's met by three Nittany Lion defenders, Parnum. The main one that got that hit off, and now he's going to just scoot the ball forward to Ethan Long. And Long trying to catch Colgate behind, but he'll have to slow things down to let Penn State get their offensive hands out there. Nice defensive sequence from Penn State. We'll see if defense generates offense. They say defense wins championships, and it's a team that Prides itself really both on defense, but also on the fact that their defense turns it into offense. Yeah, and you, you've got some of the best and the most underrated defenders on this Nittany Lion roster. Alex Ross, Kevin Parnum, one of them. Obviously, Jack Posey not playing today. Grant Haas, one of the best short stick defensive middies out there. And they love to turn it into offense. You saw Sam Sweeney was up there as well as the LSM. He was still creating offensive plays, but just finally got off for Penn State to get their full offensive force. On far side as we tick under minute 15. Now Costin with it. His shot goes wide to the right of Lacombe. Long closest to it, so Penn State retains possession. 26 left on the shot clock. And again, everything's going through Malone. You see him again at that Big Ten logo. He's been finding guys like crazy there, but a little bit of a missed pass there. Miscommunication as the pass went long to Costin. So Colgate, if they so choose, can have the final shot of the first quarter of play in the 2024 season for Penn State and Colgate. Does look like Colgate it was trying to hold it there, but a little bit of a violation. So now it's up to Penn State. Penn State could do the same, or they could push and try to get multiple. With the success at the faceoff dot today, four to two in Penn State's favor. And again, I know it's opening day, but that's something that Colgate is not going to be happy about. They got a too many men violation over the midfield line. That's just unacceptable for them. Talk about it going to have some rusty play. It's bound to happen. You've been practicing against your teammates for a while now as Wallstrom pushes in before met by Renane. Another shot. This one saved by Lacombe. It's going to trickle out. Penn State closest with eight seconds. See if they have one little last life here in the first. Wallstrom brings it back in. Far pass over Malone's head. And out of bounds. And that is going not quite do it. There's a second left. It's a little ahead of myself. <laughs> we'll get the restart. Matt Kerouac. A little animated over in the box. 
for Colgate. As started back up, a shot all the way on the grass, and that is gonna do it here in the first. Penn State leads three to two, Tim. And Tim, we talked about it. TJ Malone kind of running this offense was the key in the first, but I feel like we can't go without talking about the defense really for both sides. Absolutely, I think you gotta give Colgate's defense a ton of credit, not giving away too many easy shots and easy shot attempts even for the Nittany Lions, but Penn State doing a great job. After giving up that little two goal skid, they kind of really made sure that they were gonna make sure that nothing really gets through, especially on the transition game. That's where Colgate was the most effective. You haven't seen it much ever since those two goals. Another big reason for some success of Penn State. Face-offs in the first five to two. You can make it six to two as they were able to get this one before a stoppage because Grant Haas lost his glove. But now Penn State down on their offensive end. They're going from left to right now. Little switch here in the second. Horn to Malone. Now to Lehman. Lehman and Malone have connected plenty of times. Chemistry between them in a first game that they've played is really through the roofs at, roof at the moment. Malone to Marin, down to Lehman. Lehman, trainer, and Costin up top. Malone can't get the pass, but he's able to grab it off the ground to keep it on Penn State's side. Nice little swim move. Now he'll pass it off, turnaround shot. Warren, it was blocked by an array of bodies. I believe it was Sam Erickson who's it hit off of, though there was two Colgate defenders, so not exactly sure. But then again, we talked about the Colgate defense, and they are keeping the shots outside right now for Penn State. Nothing right down Main Street, nothing right in front of the crease, nothing right in front of, in front of Lacombe, and they're getting bodies in front. That's a big-time block on a really good player, and an underrated player in Jake Morin, who had a big-time game against Duke. He had four points against Duke, and he's Tambroni is expecting him to have a big-time role this season. But right there, that's a great defensive play by Colgate. Now Colgate looking to take some of that great defensive play and put it on the offensive end. They trail by one, and they fell behind by one, scored two consecutive. Since then, Penn State matched those two consecutive with two consecutive there on the, of their own. Pardon me there. You're expecting to here for Penn State defense, it's going to be a lot of Kyle Aldridge and Grant Haas as the two defense, short stick defensive midfielders. And you're kind of seeing that Colgate is trying to maybe get a couple matchups that they want, whether it's Jack Turner or Rory Connor trying to get matched up with that short stick. But Penn State's doing a really, really good job of making sure that doesn't happen. Rory Connor, he led them in goals last year with 26. Another key piece of this offense, Michael. Menikis, who we've talked about plenty of times, led an assist. And Menikis, Alex Ross has been on him for, I'd say, the majority, if not the entire game. And so far, Menikis has really been kind of taken out. Yeah, and you got to give credit to Alex Ross there. Again, expected to have that big time role. Him and Parnham are two guys that are expected to really step it up there as Colgate not able to get a shot away with the shot clock violation. So with 12.30, Penn State's gonna start trying to clear it the other way, get something going on offense. Been a little while, a little hum in play since a goal, last goal game of 4.59 as Penn State turns it over. There is Minikas, and he is taken down, and that's gonna draw a flag. Kyle Aldridge, the one that took him down. So they had, it looked like to me, Kyle Lehman was down there to try to receive the pass and do a nice quick transition. But again, a bad pass by Lehman. You're seeing a little bit of the nerves from the young freshman, as to be expected. But Tambroni obviously putting a lot of pressure on him. It's Kyle Aldridge. He's going to be getting a push in the back call there. He tried to get his stick down. He actually, if you could see here, he got body first and then was able to get contact with the stick. They're going to call that one every time. And it's a big opportunity here for Colgate. Colgate goes man up. Last year, 33.3%, third of their opportunities, just about, 10 of 33. Now they will look to generate something. It's only a 30 second man up, so let's see if Colgate can get a quick shot here. They're looking for it, down low, Turner, ball loose. Another nice play by Ross, knocks it loose of Liam Connor, and now taken down at the line, and it will stay with Liam Connor. Ross expecting a call there. Kind of got his legs taken out a bit, but Colgate might get away with one there. Up top now with it. Now it's Rory Connor to Turner. 
Tried to do a skip pass, and Penn State's going to end up coming away with it. Sam Sweeney. Ball then came loose again, and Frasion, the one who picks it up. Nice job as Frasion just got taken down by Minicus on the far sideline. Penn State pushing the other way as the man advantage expired. Aldridge taken down, flag comes out. Huge job by Kyle Aldridge, making up for his mistake there. He's able to draw the tripping penalty, but also keeps possession here. So Penn State with the ball here, even if they do score, they will get that man up advantage. So great job by Aldridge to recognize that he got the man up and settle things down. This is one of those opportunities with the ball and still you get the man advantage that Penn State could really start to pull away from Colgate. Been a slow start as Brent Flick has it. Brent Flick, then trainer, his shot wide of Lacombe, pardon me. And that'll get the stoppage that'll allow it to go man up for Penn State. I really like that Tambroni is trying to find a way to get more creative shots for Matt Trainer right now because he is one of the most naturally born shooters in the entire nation when it comes to lacrosse. And finding him right in front, right in that slot area is really where you want to get him to be able to just rip it and, and again, yes, it might have went wide, but just keep feeding him, keep rotating him, and you're going to get some really good opportunities, which we might see here on this man-up advantage. 32 goals for Trainer a season ago, now in his junior year, one more year of experience under his belt. This year playing without his brother Jack for the first time in his collegiate career. Malone brings it over the Big Ten logo. Tosses it off to Trainer, who's ready to rip, and then tried to pass back to Malone. Pass goes out and hits somebody who you'll hear on Big Ten Plus later this season. Good friend Hayden Lewis, who's down there covering for another outlet. And now Colgate will pick it up. Ball on the ground. So Colgate comes away with it. Four seconds left on the man. Advantage, and Turner's going to score for Colgate before it expires. Man down goal for Jack Turner. And Colgate ties it right back up, and that's the exact opposite of what you want on a man up if you're Penn State. What a shot by Jack Turner. Absolutely turns Will Cost in there. He stumbles down. Turner realizes it and just rips it into the top left upper corner right in that toy department. What a rip that was, and what a response by Colgate there. A sloppy pass from Trainer. And again, all of everybody here in this crowd expected Colgate to just wait for the man up to end. Everybody except Jack Turner, and he gets his second of the game. Hey, caught him off guard, and Jack Turner, second of the season, second of the game, of course. Already a seventh of the way to his total from his sophomore campaign, where he started eight of 11 games for the Raiders. Ball still loose, and Still loose, now Mullins, nope, it got knocked out. This one again knocked out. Mullins eventually gives it to Penn State and they're pushing it the other way. Big shot from Brendan Leary, the freshman, in there and Wallstrom gonna pick it up. They're actually gonna say it's out on Penn State and I'm not really sure how they got that one as Lacombe kind of scooped it and just never got possession there and Tambroni is begging the official to come over here and have a conversation with them. But again, there's Penn State forcing the turnover once again on the ride. Huge by Penn State. You know the old saying, ball don't lie. That may have been it right there as Penn State finds the ball, whether come a couple seconds later or not, as we are at 9.44 left in the second quarter. One thing I've noticed, Justin, and it's something that I think Tambroni deserves a ton of credit for is his trust in these young freshmen. That was Brendan Leary there, again making a big time play defensively for Penn State. Leary and Lehman, the two freshmen that have played so far, plenty of more to come. Maybe not today, but I'd assume throughout the season. There is a flag down in front of Tambroni. Penn State possessing trainer, huge save Lacombe. Sixth save of the game now for Matt Lacombe. We talked about the goalie battle, and Matt Lacombe, one of the best in the nation a year ago, is proving it early in 2024. That is a big-time save right there. Malone able to draw it, and what a move by Trainer to get himself open. He got the jump shot in it as well to get all of his power into the shot, turn his hips brilliantly, 
but Lacombe able to get down. It was a bounce shot. It's a tough shot to save, but Lacombe was ready for it and tracked it all the way through. Big time save for Colgate, but a man up here for Penn State. Man up for Penn State. The last one, Jack Turner with a second left scored for Colgate. Anthony Lyons looking to do something else here. Another rip by Trainer. another save by Lacombe as he goes down to the ground using his body. Already seven saves. We're not even halfway through the second. Looks like Lacombe might just have Matt Trainer's number today, making some big time moves and big time saves, I should say, right on Trainer, who is the one that's creating all these different types of angles for himself, all these different types of uh, low to high, high to low shots and Lacombe is tracking it brilliantly. And it leads to a goal on the other end. It's Jacob Sposita, and Colgate is on top of number four, Penn State, four to three, as Sposita just found a lane and took it and beat Pratt. The Colgate bench just erupted. And again, it's on Sam Sweeney there, the shorter LSM. And, and again, it's all about matchups for this Colgate team. They've recognized that all game long, whether it was trying to get uh, uh, Kyle Aldrich on certain players or whoever. This time, it's Jacob Spazita recognizing that he's got an LSM on him, and he just takes it right to the cage. Nothing Frasione can do there, and it, now it's a lead for Colgate. Now Mullen starts with a face-off win, and talked about it. Nothing really Frasione could do, and it really was all sparked on the other end by Lacombe. We talked about Penn State's ability to go defense to offense last year and really so far today as well a little bit. Well, there it was Colgate going from defense to offense and with Penn State having possession, Jeff Tambroni calls a timeout to talk things over from it with his team and we'll take a timeout with them right here on Big Ten Plus. Penn State does start out with possession. Again, Jeff Tambroni, the Big Ten coach of the year, year ago now in his 14th season at the helm for the Nittany Lions. Talk things over and See if comes to play right out of the timeout if his team responds as Long gets it to Trainer and now Wallstrom at X gives it off to Morin. Morin to Costin. Costin to Long and back to Costin. Nice little juke out there. Now down low to Wallstrom. Wallstrom to Malone up top. Malone works around and his shot wide of Lacombe's net and crease. And stay closest with 47 left on the shot clock. Good chase there by Wallstrom though, and good job by Tam Brody to make sure Malone is moving around, trying to get him some free lanes to shoot that ball. Of note, Lehman, who's been on the field for much of this game for Penn State, off as Costin. His shot also ripped wide, 34 left on the shot clock now, 7.32 in the quarter. Penn State doing a good job finding those open lanes right now, just not able to put the ball on target. Long, pushes in, but is met. Has to pass out. Trainer, nice little spin. Gives it to Long. Long up top. Another rip by Costin this time. Another one wide. Penn State generating the opportunities. They just cannot get him on goal right now. But you know what? This is a big momentum swing. And lacrosse is all about momentum. This is important here for Penn State. Costin gets this one a go. Fourth time is the charm on this offensive possession for Penn State. And then Nittany Lions tie it up, Costin second of the game. You gotta give a ton of credit for Tamproni to recognize that his team was scrambling a little bit and takes a very important timeout. What a feed that was from X. I believe that was Ethan Long or Wallstrom, one of those two. And look, you're gonna see Costin here. He gets himself open all the way at the top of the cage. It's Wallstrom, the lefty there, and just an absolute rip by Costin straight into the top corner. He's not getting a Lacombe any chance to save that one. And a big time goal for Penn State. Face off again, Penn State's way as Kyle Aldridge now streaking down the field. Gonna pass to Malone. Malone, quick pass, trainer, his rip. This one goes wide. Something to note, really since that timeout, at least what I've now five shot attempts from Penn State, they're not hesitating. They're shooting. They were hesitating for a little bit before that timeout. They're just ripping it on all cylinders right now. And, and Justin, it was all about them trying to find that perfect pass and the perfect shot. This team doesn't need that opportunity. You have real deal goal scorers on this team. Just let it go. Build your build, build that momentum a bit. And you're seeing it right now, momentum all on the side of the Nittany Lions. And it also comes in the fact they're winning seven or eight out of 10 face-offs right now. Jordan up top. Pushes on the far side before tossing it off to Mercer. Now Malone, back to Mercer. 
his rip. This one again, wide and high. Penn State seemingly starting to get going. A well-used timeout by Tambroni. And now all the offense has been on the right side of your screen here on Big Ten Plus. You're starting to see Luke Wallstrom kind of take the position right now of Lehman right now. And it's really working out for this Penn State team. Malone to Mercer, back to Malone. Now it's Jordan. Jordan down low, trying to find Trainer, And it is intercepted by Colgate. Michael Kiley, the one to come away with it. And again, we just talked about it. They had that shoot first mentality. Chris Jordan comes on, who is known as a very good goal scorer. He had uh, 12 goals last season and only 10 games played. And from Garden City, he was a transfer last season as well. A big time goal scorer, extend he tries to force one into Matt Trainer, who is basically triple teamed. That's an easy turnover for Colgate. And let's see if they can maybe slow down this momentum that the Nittany Lions have. I have to ask, Tim, did you throw in Garden City because of our Long Island connections? Uh, absolutely, yes. Okay, okay, yes. Just, just double checking there yep. is Colgate. Couple of Long Islanders on their own, including the Connor brothers. Liam and Rory playing together here in Liam's first collegiate year. And Rory his junior year. Both of them coming from Manhasset, as you did mention. Manhasset going to state championships a couple of times, so they do have winning experience, these two. Rory with it, he tossed it off. Dominicus gave it off to Liam. Now back down to Dominicus, and he's gonna get one to go. Off the feed from Liam Connor. Mike Dominicus. His first of the season, and Colgate strikes right back. Justin, you talked about it before break, how Minikis was held really to no opportunities when Alex Ross was on him. Alex Ross kind of got a little sleepy on that one. He expected Minikis to go fully around the cage. Minikis turned it right back around, quick cut up, nothing that any Penn State Nittany line can do about that, unless your name's Alex Ross, and could have had a little bit better positioning. Great feed, though, by Liam Connor there. Right on Q2, we were just talking about the Connor brothers, and it's Liam Connor getting his first collegiate point. And this time, the faceoff goes the way of the Raiders. Lots of contact, far side ball comes loose. Colgate able to pick up the ground ball. That was Rory Connor picking it up. Colgate getting that faceoff is a huge a momentum, moment swing for them right now. As the faceoffs have been going clearly in the Nittany Lions' favor, but yet you're winning this game five to four of your Colgate. Now you have the possession to get that two goal lead right now on supposedly one of the best teams in the nation here, the number fourth team. You have a really good opportunity here if you're the Raiders to put the pressure on this Nittany Lions to make some changes. We tick closer to halftime, four minutes left in the first half. Colgate leads five to four over number four. Another pass goes down low towards the crease of Frasione. Nice defense, but Jacob Turner still trying to work around Alex Ross. And as he tries to take a shot, Ross does a nice job to get his stick involved. Ball loose on the ground. Parnum will pick it up for Penn State. And that there is a good bounce back defense possession for the Nittany Lions and maybe specifically Alex Ross. I was just gonna say that on Jack Turner there, great job. But Leary the freshman trying to do a little too much and Colgate gets it right back. Colgate picked it up, Charlie Lohman did at half field or midfield, pardon me there, and a shot by Minicus. This one goes wide. And a nice little dive by Will Costin is the reason Penn State was closest to it. Actually, Justin, Frasion got a piece of that one, which is a big time save for him. He didn't have a couple saves for the past three shots or so, nothing against him by any means necessary, but just not able to get his momentum into it. That's a big time save, and what a play by Will Cost in there diving to get possession back for Penn State, a much needed possession. Wallstrom again at X, gonna toss it off to Trainer, Gives it to Costin and now to Morin. Morin to Malone. Up top with it long, long back to Malone. Malone switches hands, work around the de defense. He now gives it to Wallstrom, redshirt sophomore at X. Again, his playing time has really increased here in the second. Matt Costin, two time goal scorer here today, gives it off to Matt Trainer. Trainer, nice little move. Back to Costin. 
Horn pushes in, gives it off to Long now at X. Switching spots with Wallstrom, who's got it now in his stick. Gives it to Costin, 13 seconds left. Penn State milking the shot clock. Malone, down low to Long. Long, turnaround shot. This one going to go very wide. Malone closest to it, two seconds left on the shot clock. And TJ Malone just going to pass it off as a shot clock violation for Penn State. Empty offensive possession for the Nittany Lions as under two to go here in quarter two. Give the Colgate defense a ton of credit there. It looked like it was Mernane and I believe it was Fitzsimmons as well that were the big key factors for the Nittany Lions. They're just letting no shot really openings at all for Penn State, but a turnover here going the other way. Wallstrom with the interception. Now he's got the chance to finish. He's stripped of it. Great defensive play from Colgate. Patty Eldridge. Just enough of the stick of Wallstrom and Colgate. The Raiders able to go the other way now. The Raiders have a terrible turnover. Wallstrom has got a breakaway, but a diving effort by Patty Eldridge gets just enough of the stick of Wallstrom to knock that ball free. That is an impressive second effort from Colgate there. They're going to take a timeout, and they're going to celebrate that great moment right there. Minute to Justin Chevalella joined alongside Tim Rogers here on Big Ten Plus. And Tim, what do you see? Look, you said effort. I see a full team effort. And I'm even talking about the bench for Colgate. Every little play that Colgate has done right, the bench has celebrated it. Their team is fully in on beating and taking down this number four team in the nation. Yeah, there was another opportunity for a goal as it was Sposita, who's already got a goal today, firing one wide of Frasion, but you said it, full team effort. Everyone that's here today on the travel roster for Colgate doing what they can to take down number four. Task doesn't get easier. They have number nine, Syracuse, next. But obviously the goal right now is Sposita misses another one. Don't know if Frasion was able to get a piece of his stick on there. Either way, shot went wide with 49 seconds to go. And based off no shot clock reset, Frasion didn't. Nearly a wayward pass, but a great job by Druin to get his stick extended to get it in the pocket. Druin running circles, and now he gets the goal. Running circles all over the end, offensive end of Colgate, and then circling around from X. It's Hunter Druin with his first of the season, or second of the game, pardon me on that one, and Colgate's lead is now up to two. Hunter Druin just showed why we talked about effort. He just did not stop. He just kept on going and going and going. Able to fire that one home, working on Ryan O'Connor there, the LSM of Penn State, and just working on matchups. Again, I talked about it coming into this game. O'Connor, known as more of an LSM, more of a speedy defender, not able to really get great positioning there, but Penn State, with only a few short seconds here, take a timeout and a very important timeout there by Tam Brody to just get one back here as they are reeling right now. Under 20 seconds to go, Jeff Tambroni takes his second timeout of the half. We'll take it with him as Penn State looks for an answer against the Colgate Raiders right here on Big Ten Plus. Defensive midi. It's all about finding the right matchups for Colgate, and they're doing it brilliantly here. Penn State looking to try to cut their deficit to one before half and nearly a wayward pass, but Trainer does a nice job to get up, gives it to Morin, and now he'll give it off to X. Wayward pass this time, stick on it by Colgate. Malone can't get there in time, and it is going to be Colgate running out the half. The timeout from Tambroni does not work. The two teams are going into halftime on two separate notes. You look at Colgate jumping around on their side of the field, and Penn State quickly into the locker room behind. Then we saw that after Jeff Tambroni took his first time out. Penn State started to get more shots. They got one goal in that sequence of a couple of possessions as faceoffs have been Penn State's strong suit. They'll control another, and now it's a matter of turning them in to offense. But the ball on the ground, Colgate not going to pick it up as violation call. Yeah, and Penn State in that second quarter, the quarter that really for them, they were five and one for faceoffs. But when you look at the turnover margin, nine turnovers in that second quarter for Penn State. They gotta clean it up. They gotta clean up their sloppiness. Kyle Lehman back in 
after Luke Wallstrom did most of the work in the second in that same similar position working at X that Lehman is in now. Lost possession was more in. Malone was there, got it to Lehman. Impressive feed and an impressive score. Malone with his fourth assist, Lehman with his second goal, and Penn State first to strike in the second half. What a way to come out of the half. A clean face-off one. Morin, yes, great defensive play by Colgate, but who picks up the ground ball? Of course, it's TJ Malone, and what a feed. No look, he wasn't even looking. Wait, he just had and then the, the jump shot to finish it. Uh, the connection between Lehman and Malone is developing very, very quickly, and it's all about chemistry. It's all about knowing where your player is going to be. Lehman recognizing where the ball needs to go, and he gets there and makes a big time play. And what a goal for him. He's second of the game, and Malone's fourth assist of the game. Colgate able to get this face off though, and they will control possession. And now this is where it gets interesting. The Penn State defense was a little spotty in the second. We talked about the sun in Frastione's eyes as Frastione moves out of his crease to try to play Manikis at X. Leaves the net wide open and it leads to a score. It's Michael Kiley taking the feed and finishing it for Colgate. That is the definition of bad defense by Penn State. Frasion doing the right thing, taking away the one side. Ross has to get his stick up here. He's got his stick down, he gets it up late, and that's, I believe it's Will Cost in there, sees the, uh, the oncoming attacker in Michael Kiley coming in late. You gotta recognize when the cutters are coming down. Ross not having his stick up, Costa not having his stick up, you, you, you think Kylie's not going to take an open goal at any time of day? And a huge, big time goal right there for Kylie. Face off violation on Colgate. Penn State gets it their way, but then it's going to be lost possession by Brent McVicker. And Colgate able to take it. That's one of the things we've seen. We've said it multiple times. Penn State not really having a problem on the face off. The violation gave it to them this time. But Tim, another turnover when we came in or came back from half, it was 15 10 turnovers. Penn State with the 15. And there's another early one as Colgate might give it right back though. And they do give it right back. So again, a little bit of sloppiness here. Penn State, they just gotta calm things down a little bit. Get the ball into your player's hands like this guy, TJ Malone. Malone pushed in and now we'll wait to try to set up the offense. Malone quarterbacking it. From behind goal line extended. Morin pushes in, gives it back to Malone. Back to Morin. Or not X. Looking for a path up. Passes it off. And now Lehman. The costume. You're seeing Penn State be a little too slow and a little too standstill. They gotta keep their feet moving here. Because that's how you're going to create wide open lanes. They're just standing still. No real cutters for people without the ball. That's where you get those clear lanes. If something can gener generate now, with under 30 to go on the shot clock. Orange. Finds Long, who rips it. Big save, Lacombe, ball loose. Still loose. And eventually, they'll come away with it. It's Michael Kiley. Or pardon me, that's Quinn Fitzsimmons. Saw the three, didn't see the four before it. And that's another big save by Lacombe, especially in the end that we talked about. Sun is shining bright. Luckily, though, for Lacombe, Ethan Long didn't change the angle of the shot. Went high to high, right into where Lacombe was basically keeping his stick the whole time. Changed the angle a little bit of the shot. Yes, Ethan Long got a ton of power on that shot with the spinning move, but you shot it right up top. You didn't go high to low. It's all about the change in elevation and trying to uh, trick the goaltender. Possession momentarily lost by Druin, but he picks it up on the Colgate end. Druin's got the matchup of the short stick here. Aldridge, and Druin pushes past him for another goal, and Col Colgate is up by three. Hunter Druin with a hat trick in the season opener for the Raiders. You're looking at this Penn State team kind of looking a little shocked right now, but as I mentioned, I saw the matchup, and again, what did we talk about coming out of the break? Colgate is just driving to the net, playing that gritty style. They're not looking for the perfect pass. You see your matchup, you take it, you go straight to the cage. Nothing Fras Young could do there again. Aldridge beat cleanly by, uh, I believe, Druin, right? 
What a goal for him. Penn State, another face-off win. A little bit sloppy. And they will keep possession. Now Lehman down low, all alone. He's going to feed it. And this time, Malone gets it. A little swap. Lehman to Malone this time. And Penn State able to strike right back. It's all about getting the ball in the hands of your best players. TJ Malone is that. But what did Kyle Lehman do here? He just took his space. He didn't wait for everybody to get in. He drove straight to the cage. And you know Malone's going to finish that one every time. A little quick one-two right into the back of the cage there. That is a big-time goal there. Those two just keep connecting. We talked about the chemistry. You can build it in practice, but you're never really going to see how it is until you get to the playing field. And Lehman, the freshman, Malone, who's been here for so long and been one of the best players in program history, are connecting. Now, right now, Penn State searching for more answers. Penn State will actually be man up here. It looks like there was a penalty called on Colgate. They have a minute of man up as well here. This is a huge opportunity for the Nittany Lions. You got the goal on the delayed penalty. Now you're man up. This is a huge opportunity just like that. Look, we talked about it all the time. Lacrosse is a game of momentum. This is a momentum swing right here if you could put this ball in the back of the net. Penn State 0 for 3 in man up opportunities and they've let up a goal as well on the man up, but this is an opportunity to swing things around. Long to Costin, up to Trainer. Malone back to Trainer. Now Costin, his rip, another save by Lacombe. And Penn State closest to it. Matt Costin with a quick rip there. And 15 seconds left on the man up. That's a good shot by Costin, though. High to low, good bounce. I actually think that one hit off the pipe. Costin, again, gets it down low, long with a turnaround. That one goes high. Malone closest to it on the sideline. Four seconds left on the man up. And the quick restart. Malone gets it down low. Now Trainer, his rip, and another save by Lacombe. He went down to both knees and managed to get it in the pocket of his stick anyway. The reason Penn State is not winning this game right now is clear as day, and it's all look home. What a save that is. A big time. Trainer wide open, nobody pressing him. He takes his wind-up shot, but again, Justin, low to low. No change in elevation, and that's a good save for look home. It's a big time save, but it's not one of the hardest to make. On another note, Penn State keeps attacking from the far side. The sun that we talked about is on that near side. That's where the problems, that angle is going to be the problem as Druin gets down at X quickly. Looked like he was going to go straight for the shot. Kyle Aldridge did a nice job to push him out. Druin spins around, and he's got another one. Hunter Druin with goal number four. And Colgate extends their lead back up to three. He had nine season ago, and he's up to four against number four Penn State. Well, Hunter Druin is just taking what they're giving him. Again, it's a short stick on, on him in Kyle Aldridge. It's a spin, and it's too aggressive. We talked about that earlier in the game, how the Penn State defense is a little too aggressive. Aldridge goes in. It's a clean spin off of him. And it's a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Frasione does a great job making himself big, but the five-hole, wide open. And Colgate here will get possession off the face-off violation. A couple of face-offs now in the third that have gone the way of Colgate. We talked about it too aggressive on the defensive side for Penn State. Now Ross playing a chase game, still forces the shot to go high. Connor closest to it as we trickle under nine and a half here in the third quarter. Nittany Lions have their work cut out for them in their season opener. Season opener after a season ender that was so heartbreaking, so disappointing for them. I don't want to see the same happen here today against Colgate. Nick struggles on the pass and it's picked up quickly by the Nittany Lions taking it the other way. John King the one to pick up the ground ball. He gets it to Trainer. Now Lehman at X, and Penn State will slow things down. See, this is a good time for Penn State to slow things down. They have all of their defensive middies out there. Get your fresh 
players in Morin, bring in Costin, bring out Long, bring out those guys that you know are going to be able to score a goal. And look, a guy that used to be able to do this for Penn State was Kevin Winkoff. Losing him this past offseason, uh, uh, Tambroni talked about it. It is a loss, but he believed in the talent here. And you're starting to see Matt Costin develop that role a little bit. He's got two goals in this game. Let's see if he can keep it up. Another save by Lacombe as Costin gave it off to Long. That one, there was a little bit of an angle change, and Lacombe's going to turn it over. That trainer was there applying the pressure on Lacombe. He was looking to see if there was some type of violation, but clear turnover, and now Penn State, they've been given opportunity after opportunity, and they need to start capitalizing as Jake Morin is going to put a pass on the turf. And Colgate's going to pick it up. It's Eldridge. Eldridge with a lane. He's going to take the shot, and he's going to get the goal. Patty Eldridge, coast to coast, and gets it past Frasione, and Colgate extends their lead to four. When talking about Patty Eldridge earlier, we talked about effort, and he just did that the whole way through. You can tell how much he means to that Colgate bench. They were exploding after a huge goal. Yes, they're up by four on number four, but that is a huge effort play. Again, did he look for the extra pass? No, he went straight to the cage and he ripped it right past Frasione on a beautiful bounce shot. Now Penn State has to make up a four goal deficit. They've got the talent to do it, but just have not been able to put everything together here today. And they have to slow things down again to get the right personnel on the field. Now the positive here for Penn State, Yes, you gave up these goals. You didn't give them up that long. You have still plenty of time in this third quarter. You also have a full quarter left. There is plenty of time for you to get into this game. Just get the ball into the hands of Malone. You got to keep trying to get Trainer involved. You got to keep finding your talent. Wallstrom and Lehman out there together. And those two kind of have been playing the same role as Malone fell down as he looked to take a shot. Now in the clear. Little trouble with it, Penn State's gonna come away with it. That's Will Costin. Long stick gonna test it off to Trainer. Trainer to Malone. Malone pushes through, but it'll be scooted off to X. And Trainer gives it back to Malone now. Just 40 to go. Justin, you talked about it. Penn State are getting multiple opportunities here, multiple gifts, multiple turnovers by Colgate here. Penn State's defense mainly not doing the best when they're set up. But on these transitions, they're not giving Colgate anything. And this Penn State offense is just not on the same page today. Ripped by Mercer, and he's going to get one to go. Luke Mercer just took that one from the right angle and gets it past Lacombe. His first of the season, Penn State trims the deficit to three. And Tim, that's what we were talking about. That's the angle that the sun is shining in Lacombe's eyes right now. And look who recognized it. TJ Malone was able to get it right to him. And a great shot by Mercer, too. He put it right in that top corner. And you could tell Lacombe did not know where that ball was going. He actually went low. And that ball just goes, sails right into the top corner. That's a big time goal for Penn State. And maybe that's going to show them a little bit. All right, maybe this is where we got to shoot the ball a little bit more. Uh, you can't also forget to note that that shot from Mercer was around Quinn Fitzsimmons. It was not an easy shot. Quick shot there from Lehman. He's got the hat trick. What a debut. Off the feed from Malone, Kyle Lehman living up to the hype. And Penn State's deficit is all of a sudden too. Fast, quick pace right now for the Nittany Lions. We talked about how they need to turn face-offs into points. They got the face-off clean by Mullins. Mullins gets it to Aldridge. Aldridge gets it to Malone. Malone, again, doesn't look where Lehman is, just dishes it off right to him, puts all of his power behind it. Lehman gets that hat trick. Malone gets his sixth assist of the game. And a huge stop by Frasione on the other end. The Nittany Lions might be humming now, although Kogi gets the ball. That is a huge save by Frasione there. Just keep the momentum on the Nittany Lions side there. Yes, Colgate has possession here, but if you sit, make that save, look how excited the Penn State bench was to that big time save. And now they're in position. They got all their talent where they want them. They are ready to make a big time play here. 
Hogan loses it, Penn State, Aldridge nearly picks it up, but instead Liam Connor makes a push, finds Vinicius who's taken down. No call, Nittany Lions. Their defense starting to work and all of a sudden, two minutes of game time have gone by and Tim, the story is completely flipped. This game is all about momentum as Frasione tries to do a deep pass there, gets it to go. Gets it to Sweeney, nobody's in net. As it was Lacombe coming out, as though it'll be a turnover as Lehman did all he could. Just a nice job getting back on the defensive end from Colgate. You gotta give Lacombe a ton of credit there, putting a lot of pressure on the long stick in Sweeney, who was trying to get, get join the rush there. And Frasio may be a little too aggressive, but he saw Sweeney was open. They just couldn't find that extra pass. And now it's Manikis on the other end. Just got tripped up. Nice defense from Penn State. We'll see if he can come back. As he tossed it off to Rupenstein. Something to point out here, if you could see on your screen, look where Tambroni is. He is now right where his defense is. He is giving barking instructions at him, and that's what I think this Penn State Nittany Lions defense needs, is him to get that structure down for them. Something's working right now as it's gonna be a turnover. Kevin Parnum gonna pick it up. He gives it off to Trainer. Trainer to Aldridge, nice spin move in the open field, but he'll have to slow things down. Great job there by Parnum on the rush. Aldridge, he tried to take a little bit too much there. TJ Malone was like, no, 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 calm things down. And that's exactly what Penn State needed to do there. Now they got their offense out where they want them. And look, you still have four minutes left in this quarter, and it's a two-goal game. Now we'll see what Penn State can do with it. Morin streaking in from the bench. Does a nice job to keep possession. Now gets it to Costin. Costin works around a sea of defenders. Passes off to Long. Long to Marin. Lehman, his shot wide. Nittany Lions closest to it again. 40 seconds left on the shot clock. 3.41 to go in the third quarter. Good ball movement there from Penn State. Again, finding Lehman open. Lehman is doing a really good job to the left of Lacombe, finding an open area. And now Malone, his quick shot. And Lacombe right in position again. That's a save that Lacombe needed to make. He had a couple of tough shots by Penn State. He wasn't able to save. Lacombe gets that one to go into the head of his stick, and now Colgate pushing the other way. That's a big time save too. Malone not able to get all of his power on that. He was falling down, he was backpedaling on that shot, but still put it in a very dangerous area where Lacombe had to switch his hands and get his stick down in time. That's a big time save to kind of slow down this momentum for the Nittany Lions. Penn State has forced Colgate to retreat quite a ways away from Frasione. Tambroni still barking orders. As Druin wrapped it around, there there was no lane. We've seen Druin do that a couple of times here today. And there's been a lane plenty of times as Liam Connor is met by Brent McVicker. Connor pushes through, ball comes loose. Swallowing it up was the Penn State defense and It'll stay the way of the Raiders. Looks like one of the Colgate players here might have lost his glove here. And that's where they're gonna call that one to stop the play and get it back possession there for Colgate. And there's gonna be a flag thrown as Matt Carwick is all the way on the Penn State side on the field, not on the bench. He is all the way on the field. He is barking for some type of call. We saw the glove come off. The officials deem otherwise and should be a man up for Penn State. Gotta be honest here, a little confused on what Carweck was thinking there on being all the way on the field. He wasn't on the bench. He was looking like he wanted to maybe take one of his players' sticks and try to score a goal for Colgate there. And it looked like he was asking them to review it. And there he is still barking orders over there. He is at least three or four yards off the sideline. And now he will retreat back on his side. So Penn State here has a big opportunity, man up. Little bit of a gift maybe for them. 
with Costin having the ball here to start. I believe it's going to be Patty Eldridge who is serving it, though the board does say 17, which would be Turner. It just looks like it's Eldridge down on the knee on the far side. Officials still talking this one over here. Now it looks like they're going to switch it again and have Jacob Sposita. Officials, they're explaining why to Carweck. Again, he's got a whole brand new staff with him. I don't think we've talked about that yet. Drew Lattimore, Colin Munro, Andy Harriott, all in their first year. And so far, they have helped Colgate lead number four Penn State late into the third quarter. Long and Lehman. Morin. Malone to Lehman again. Now back up to Malone. Gives it off to Costin. He's going to rip one bouncing shot wide of Lacombe. Lehman closest to it. Two minutes to go in the quarter. 40 seconds to go on the man up for the Nittany Lions. Costin, he's going to rip another one. This one off the top crossbar. Free on the turf. And it'll be Max Yates picking it up before Malone could get there. That's a good shot by Costin there. We did a great job of getting open there. Malone and Lehman doing a good job to find him. And that's a big time play right there. And there's a flag down here for Penn State. It's going to negate. Well, not yet as Colgate just going to run out the first man up, which Penn State has, before they try to push anything. They're on their offensive end. That's a bad play there by Jack Trainer. He actually went offsides. That's why you see him now in the defensive zone for Penn State. He stepped over the line. The refs were not yet at first. All the Colgate bench did and were able to show it to him, but not a very smart play there from Trainer to really help Colgate get back into this game possibly. Manikis with a near turnover, still fighting for it. Parnum's just laying on top of it. Parnum looks a bit shaken up in the midfield area as Colgate's going to continue to push. Druid now slows things down. Under a minute to go, now under 50 seconds. Druid looking for the wraparound opportunity. He's going to pass out long. Nice spin move. And a shot that goes way wide. That's Fozita. And now the man up will start for Colgate. They lead 10-8. There's 37 seconds left. And you said it, Matt Trainer was the one who went off. So far today, Colgate, they've had one opportunity man up, unable to convert. They did convert man down, though. And that one of the difference makers in this one, because you think about it, usually when your man up provides the offense with that spark, instead it was the other way. This could realistically have been a 9-9 game at the moment. Said 10-8 as that man up went the other way for Penn State. Now we'll see the second time around if the man up unit for Colgate can cash in. He only got 30 seconds here, so let's see if they can get a quick shot off. It's just a small difference between the man up and the clock is, it's not gonna matter. Rory Connor, he passes one through, Jack Frasione and Colgate back up by a trio of goals. It's 11 to eight. Yeah, Rewatching this goal here, Rory Connor is wide open. And yes, they got that extra man for a reason. But Rory Connor is wide open and you see why. He moves from the slot area right in front of the crease to go wide open down low and the switch between Costin and Haas does not happen. And it leaves Rory Connor wide open back door. That is one of the guys you do not want to leave back door. As you mentioned before, led the team in goals last season or in points last season, I should say. Big time goal for Colgate there especially after a, a unsportsmanlike conduct penalty that went against them. Max Yates streaking down the field, loses it on the turf. Nittany Lions pick it up with about seven seconds left. We'll see if they can push one all the way up. There's one bouncing on the turf, and time is going to expire in the third quarter. The Colgate fans down to our left are up on their feet. The bench is active, and Colgate leads by three after three. 15 minutes to make a three goal comeback if you're number four, Penn State. 15 minutes to hold on to a three goal lead if you're Colgate to secure one of their bigger wins in program history, at least as of recent. Justin Chevalella, Tim Rogers have been holding the fort down here on Big Ten Plus all game long and plan to do the same 
in the fourth as it started out with a face-off violation. And now Malone, he's got space to work. Malone pushes through behind the back pass to Trainer. Trainer gets a shot to go. Matt Trainer gets on the board, and that's a quick start that Penn State needed here in the fourth. I don't know what TJ Malone's pregame routine is. I don't know what his pregame meal is, but I want some. Because whatever he is doing right now, he is putting the team on his back. Trainer finally able to get the goal, get the monkey off his back. That could lead to many more to come for him. But Malone gets his seventh assist of the game. Seventh. Now tied for third all-time in a game by the Nittany Lions. It is a list, or technically it would be tied for seventh as there's also multiple with eight, but still, T.J. Malone has had himself a game. They'll actually give it unassisted, so take all of that back. Matt Trainer gets it to go. Colgate trying to now capitalize on their first offensive possession of the fourth. This is the side that Frasione really struggled with with the sun on, or going into his face, I should say, though that shot that went wide came from the far side of the field. Yeah, Colgate won the faceoff, but turned it right over, and Chase Mullins just was not able to clear the faceoff sticks. They're not built to be able to really carry the ball or even pass. They're just built to be able to clamp down on that ball for the faceoff. So he was just not able to get a clean pass through, and Colgate's got a chance here. Colgate shot, ricochets, Ricochets wide. Minicus closest to it again. The name Minicus sounds familiar to any lacrosse viewers out here. It's because it is. His brother Brian, four years at Colgate before going to Georgetown and now on the Carolina Chaos in the PLL. Second in points for the team as well. He's having an impressive year for the Chaos. And speaking of Chaos, there might be some here in Happy Valley over the next 13-34, Nittany Lions aiming for the comeback. Colgate, it'd be chaos if they're able to pull off the upset. Again, game number one of both of these teams' 2024 campaigns. I want to give some credit there uh, for the Penn State defense. One consistent has been Alex Ross, and he was there that cleared that ball all the way up for Penn State. He was the one that causes the turnover again. He has stepped up in a big way for the Nittany Lions defensively. Layman, nice spin move playing near the Big Ten logo. That's where we've seen Malone for much of this game. Malone not out there at the moment. Costin gives it off to Long. Ball down at X. Wallstrom gives it off to Trainer. Now it's Long, his rip. Down on the ground goes Lacombe, another huge save for him. Matt Lacombe is keeping Colgate in this game. There, there's big time saves for him. I believe that's his 12th save of the game, and it's a huge one, but again, it's all about the shot placement. Lacombe has shown that going down low is his strong shoot, suit, excuse me, and yet Col or the Nittany Lions keep shooting down low on Lacombe. He's making it easy for himself there. Retreated all the way back to midfield. See if that huge save sparks something on the offensive end. We've seen that plenty of times. There's a nice little swim move, swim move by Druin. He got in before Sam Sweeney met him. That's Jack Turner that's going to have it. And Nick Leary, the freshman defensive midi on him. As you're seeing, the, the second string, if you will, of the defensive minis out there in Leary and Brent McVicker. So let's see if Colgate here is going to try to take an opportunity on them. Brendan Leary among them out on the field. Did a nice job to force a shot by Turner that went all the way out. And now under 15 left on the shot clock for the Raiders. Nice defensive pressure by Sweeney on Druin. Now Druin will push in, but right away he's got to retreat. Goes for a turnaround shot, hits some bodies. Sweeney picks up the ground ball, and he is being chased and met at the front before giving it off to Brent McVicker. McVicker on the offensive end before giving it off as well. That one to Leary. Malone back out there with Lehman. 
the one positive for Colgate there, yes, not getting a real shot attempt off, you killed a bunch of the clock there, which is what you need to do right now with this lead. Under 11 minutes to go in the game. Game that a little surprising the way that it's tilted at the moment. Big shot, Mercer gets it to go. Luke Mercer with his second, and the deficit has been trimmed to one. What a feed again by TJ Malone. I, I really mean this for the game. It, it's you talked to him last year. You should know I it. Should've, I should have asked him this, but whatever it's doing right now, but this is what I was talking about, about creating space and coming straight off the bench. Look how Mercer cuts down here. He just cuts down and just takes the angle, takes the shot. There's no hesitation. There's no pretty passing, if you will, for Penn State. They're taking what's right, in, and look at that. It's a one-goal game with plenty of time left for Mercer's second of the game. TJ Malone ties a career high in assist. He set that one on March 10th, 2019 against Jacksonville. Now Malone gives it off. Aldridge slips on the turf and is going to lose possession. Tough break for the Nittany Lions who looked like they were going to have another pretty opportunity on the offensive end. Now a shot. This one goes wide. As it was Sam Erickson, the LSM, going all the way down. And Penn State gets possession. Again, this is the chance to tie it. They are humming. It's all from the chase there from Jack Frasione diving to get possession back for Penn State. And the crowd below us erupted, seeing the effort from Jack Frasione, who maybe, if for his standards, is not having his best game. That is a play that could get your team right back in this one. So plays that maybe don't show up on the stat sheet that are the difference makers in each game. Wallstrom. Gonna move to X, forcing a rotation by Lehman. Wallstrom trying to work around tight defense. Gives it off. Now it's Mercer. He's hot. He's gonna try it again this way and all the way up. And so hard that that ball has gone all the way back to midfield, where Mercer will also go and switch. He's got the hot hand. He knew he wanted that one, but just a little too high. There's no hesitation again, Tim, on that shot. It's the difference maker when there's no hesitation. Penn State is dangerous. Malone feeds Jordan. This one off the crossbar. Rebound out to Costin. Costin to Malone. Got tipped on the way there, but Malone, he makes a move. He's all alone, and he'll pass it off to Costin. Jordan, trainer, far side. Things are heating up with nine minutes left. Trainer, spin move, gives it down low. Malone looks for a wrap, instead finds a pass, and Wallstrom just couldn't keep it in the head of the stick. Another beauty of a pass, just too much on it. And Wallstrom struggled to get possession. Penn State look like they're just one second away from getting it, and just unlucky. It started a couple minutes ago with Aldridge slipping, and then you got Jordan rocking the post with an impressive feed again from Malone. And Malone there trying to get it to Wallstrom, and Wallstrom just not able to control it. Gets the shot off, but is it really even a shot attempt at that point? Liam Connor, that one is going to draw a flag. As it was also going to stay the way of Colgate. It's exactly what this flag comes out for. Yeah, it looked like a little bit too aggressive there is Penn State once again, just trying to get that ball and that possession right back for them. Colgate, though, trying to keep driving to the net. That's where they've been the most effective is right up front on Frasione. They know that their range shots, Frasione is going to be able to track very easily. And it's going to be, I believe it's Parnum that is going to be taking that penalty for the Nittany Lions. They'll try to sort things out at the bottom. Eventually, someone does take the knee down there. Might be Will Costin. I was just going to say, I think they're going to get Costin there for a little bit of either cross-checking or unnecessary roughness as it's going to be a one-minute man-up opportunity. This is a big point in the game to have a minute of a man-up for Colgate, who has struck. They struck quick on their last one. As Manikis passes it off. To Connor. Druin. Trying to find a way around Haas. Instead passes it off. Turner. 
to Connor. Huge save, Fracion. With the sun in his eyes, Jack Fracion with one of his bigger saves today. And the Nittany Lions now working on the man down as Haas has hit lots of contact. Ball comes free and Colgate the other way. They've got numbers if they hurry. They do just that and the shot goes wide. Colgate keeps possession with 11 on the man up. Fracion makes a big save, got it to Haas. Haas did not know that there was a defender on him. No come from Penn State and Colgate trying to get back here with just three seconds left on the man up opportunity. Druin took another shot, that one wide, but a nice dive. Keeps Colgate, the Raiders, closest to it. Three seconds left, as Tim said, on the man up, 7.23 in the game. Colgate leads number four in quarter four. Luckily for Colgate, even with the man up expiring here, they have 60 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time for them to find their right move. McVicker, the one that comes out for the Nittany Lions, and he is quickly put to work against Rory Connor, the goal score leader and point leader a season ago. His shot gonna go high, nice pressure there from McVicker. Yeah, you know Connor's gonna be trying to take advantage of that matchup on McVicker. McVicker at the last second gets a good shove on Connor to make sure that uh, shot was off balance for him. But again, him at X again, trying to find something for Colgate. McVicker, nice pressure, Drew in all alone, and a nice job by Haas to get in the way of it. Fracion to pick it up while Haas was on the ground. As that one hit him hard, Haas gonna go off to the side. As he's gonna need to rub the pain away. Penn State with an opportunity, trainer, or pardon me, that is long. It's looking to feed trainer momentarily, instead waited for Morin to come out of the box, and as they wait for more subs, Morin's gonna push through. Morin to trainer, his rip ties it. Matt Trainer again. Struggled to get going earlier, and now Matt Trainer is hot. Way to get the monkey off the back, and that is all it took. How about Jake Morin here? Taking the defender on, Trainer. he's not gonna hesitate for that shot and the crowd below us erupted. Panzer Stadium has all the energy, but it all starts with Grant Haas putting the body on the line. I played lacrosse, that does not feel nice taking a shot like that, especially in that rib cage in the lower body. That's not gonna feel good, but what is gonna feel good is a tied ball game. 11-11, number 22 gets the 22nd goal of today's contest, and Penn State is pushing. Malone, Aldridge, trainer again, this one. Wide, Lehman closest to it with 6.09 to go. Look at the energy right now from the Nittany Lions. Momentum, fully shifted sides. It's now on the right, your right screen. All the momentum is right now for Penn State. And I gotta love that Matt Trainer is shooting the ball. Nittany Lions have been playing catch up since the 4.49 mark of the second. They have come all the way back. They trailed by four. Malone pushes in, takes big contact, ball loose on the turf. And it will be awarded the way of Colgate. Not sure if I agree with that call that much. They're gonna say Malone was holding after getting knocked out. He looked like he took that one up a little high, but nonetheless, the play continues here for Colgate and an opportunity to stop this bleeding that is going on right now. 5.30 to go. A shot and Colgate stops it. Who else but Meniscus? And it's 12 to 11 in favor of the visitors. And you can tell Frasion there not happy with himself because Rick Ross here, Alex Ross, was in great position there. He does a great job pushing him out wide and you can see he actually gets his stick on the ball, changes direction of the shot a little bit. Frasion not expecting it to go where it did and that is a huge goal for Colgate, who were really reeling there, and Meniscus getting his second of the game. Meniscus with his second, the 12th for Colgate. They take it right back, and it's gonna be a timeout after the goal that puts Colgate ahead. We're gonna take one with them as action heats up, and plus, that has Colgate up 12-11, 5.24 to go here on Big Ten Plus at Panzer Stadium, season opener, as this one, this face-off that is, is controlled by the Raiders. Johnny Hartzell's done a nice job 
so far. Although it's Mullins who has had the majority of the wins. That one in a big moment. Hartzell comes through. Hartzell has done a great job, especially though in this fourth quarter, keeping them fairly even and now tilted in the favor of Colgate, three to two this quarter. Now Colgate has time to just run out the clock if that's what they so choose. Not obviously run it out all the way, but take a lot of time off with 4.45 to go in the fourth. Menekis again. Looks like I'm looking at Aldridge out there as one of the defensive middies and John King. So no Grant Haas after taking that shot. So that's a huge opportunity here for Colgate, not have or Penn State not having one of their second team preseason All-Americans on the field. Turner's shot goes wide and it will go the way of the Nittany Lions. There was a hustle, really no one anywhere close to the sideline at that point. This becomes whoever might be the littlest of ways closest and now Penn State this is an opportunity where you want to tie it up. Yeah, a little selfish there by Jack Turner and a little selfish there by Jake Morin right there. Trying to do a little bit too much there and they're going to call a loose ball penalty on, I believe that's Matt Trainer. Looked like it was. So Penn State has the opportunity. They, they see the turnover go their way. What do they do? They get sloppy, they get angry and it turns in the favor here. Look at Jake Morin. He's got options, he's got outlets. You've got a layman wide open, down right, pass the ball, and then look, nobody has possession there. Trainer just goes for the body, doesn't go for possession at all. And Colgate is going to be a man up in a very crucial time. Not a smart play by Matt Trainer, who already had a penalty earlier in this game, by the way. He only had a minor. This one's gonna be a major penalty, which is a minute. But he already had a penalty earlier going offside, so I know head coach Tambroni is not gonna be happy with how Matt Trainer is playing today. There was no complaints though from Tambroni to the officials after the call. Clear as day that Trainer had committed the penalty. So now with four minutes left, man up could last until just three minutes left on the clock. It's crunch time for both sides. Colgate looking for an upset. It's Druin whose shot hits the side of the net. And Tim, I think right there, maybe if you're Colgate, that's the place where you Maybe want to slow the pace down and not give Penn State so much time as Malone in the alley. Absolutely, and that's exactly what I expected Morin to do there is what Sam Sweeney just did. Get the ball to your attackmen, let them take the hits. That's what they're known for. I played attack myself. The bruises you would come out with is unbelievable, but this is what they're made for. They're able to kill the rest of this 15 seconds on the man up advantage here for Colgate, but yet they have a huge opportunity now as the ball is in Penn State hands with three minutes left. Plenty of time in the world of lacrosse. Tim, I mean this in the kindest way. You, you sure you hit, took that many hits? I think you might break in half if you were to have. J just kidding, just kidding. Uh, you're, not, you're not fully wrong. No. Lehman has done anything but break in his collegiate debut as he picks that ball up, gives it off to Long. Long to Lehman. Lehman works around and will pass it off to Trainer. Trainer shot. Wide, 2.44 to go. Colgate leading 12-11, 18 seconds left on the shot clock. And that's gonna lead to a Jeff Tambroni timeout. They're gonna try to go work something up for the 18 seconds left on this shot clock. We'll step aside with them right here on Big Ten Plus. 12-11 to with 2.44 to go in regulation. Malone gonna start it up, working at X, gonna pass it back to Long. Long, now right behind Lacombe's crease. Long pushes in, turnaround shot, he gets it to go. Ethan Long, the equalizer with 2.33 to go. We're all tied up at 12-12 at Panzer. What a big time goal from the junior from Maryland. That is what we've been seeing from Colgate all game, betting on yourself. Look, he's looking for the pass here, but he goes, no what, no, 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 no. I'm gonna take my man, I'm gonna get the jump shot, get all the power behind it, and snuck it right past the shin of Lacombe, just squeaking into the back of the net there. Tim, I wasn't, I thought that may have hit the side of the net, the angle that shot, first of all, was taken from, and the angle that it got in from, and Colgate wins one of the biggest face-offs of the contest, 2.23 to go. The Raiders now looking to spoil the Nittany Lions season opener late. Second time we have been tied in this fourth. 
faceoffs this quarter are in favor for Colgate. They haven't been winning any of the faceoffs in any of the quarters except Pression, this huge save. It was Sposita taking it and Frasione coming up with it. Talk about clutch. I was just gonna say, when you need him to come up big most, he does so in Jack Frasione. But again, he's trying to maybe do a little bit too much here if he's Jack Frasione. Malone trying to keep it from being a turnover, cannot. And a minute 38 to go, Colgate picks it up. Frasione, again, as I mentioned, doing too much slow things down why are you trying to force that ball into Malone who's got a defender all over him and Colgate now have the opportunity to get the last lap here there's going to be a little bit of time difference but still to eat up the majority of the clock is a huge opportunity Liam Connor to Minicus Minicus at X 54 on the shot clock 760 coming closer on the game clock, shot wide of Frasione. 65 seconds left on this Saturday afternoon at Panzer. Rory Connor. Gonna slow things down on the far side. Trying to push around Sam Sweeney. Does so. Ball comes loose. Great play by Sweeney and Parnum. Nittany Lions pick it up. It's Will Costin, but he's gonna lose it in the midfield area. Picked up again this time hunter druin now colgate's gonna have the entire shot clock and the rest of the game to work with they take a very important time out there but again it's all about penn state trying to do too much right now 35 seconds that could be all that's left in the season opener for penn state and colgate colgate it was their timeout. it's also their ball justin chevalella joined alongside tim rogers and tim crucial moment in this contest. Yeah, it's all about mistakes. That is how this game has gone for multiple different teams. Both teams in this have had struggles in mistakes. In the fourth quarter, it's been Colgate that really has not been themselves that they've been in this first three, but now they have a chance to right all their wrongs. Everyone to their feet at Panzer. 12-12 as we trickle under 30 seconds. Connor. Pushes in to X, to the defense chance. Haas back in. Long pass, and that one's gonna go out. Penn State, 13 seconds left, will take possession back. You gotta expect Tambroni will take a timeout here once they get the ball over the half for them. He's ready at the pylon. And a turnover. a turnover by Aldridge. Here comes Colgate the other way. The Raiders in on Frasione with four seconds left. The Raiders take the lead in Happy Valley. Oh my, the Colgate bench is going crazy. And terrible turnover by the Nittany Lions. And with four seconds left, Colgate have just won themselves this game. Aiden Bernan took it and just went all the way, or Trumbull took it before passing it off. And Colgate can win it. It was Kyle Aldridge that had the ball and had the clear chance to just get the ball over the half. I don't know what he, I don't know what he saw open. There wasn't anything open. He forced a pass right through the middle. That is not where you want to force the ball. They say it is Liam Connor that gets it as Penn State takes a timeout. We're and Penn State has to win a faceoff super clean Colby, just to have an opportunity. Colby Bald Baldwin will take it. The freshman in for the first time. It's loose on the turf. Colgate picks it up. Upset complete in Happy Valley. Liam Connor, game winning goal. And the Raiders shock Panzer Stadium. Shock. Number four, Penn State, and they are celebrating with Matt Lacombe, who came up time and time again, third saves for the junior goaltender. And it's the Raiders opening 2024 with a bang.